Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, apologies. Yes, I have been guilty once again, becoming sick. <laughs> the cold weather, yeah, the breeze outside and a lot of pollution and then dust and stuff, right? So one of my nose is blocked this side and this side is open. So I decided to do this review nonetheless, even though the voice is down a little bit. So today we have something very special. This episode is going to be special because this is a Rasasi review. First reason. Second reason is this is one of their upper class sort of must collection review. Uh, this one I believe has no reviews online and I am actually feeling very prestigious. Like not prestigious, I'm feeling honored. <laughs> honored to say the least to be reviewing and talking about this for the first time. And we'll be looking at the Nakaya. Okay, I think I'm saying that right. So this is from the must collection, Nakaya. So it says mask here. So the presentation, everything I'll show you. I'll let you know uh, like everything, the notes and everything and the whole line. They have three in this collection. Namely, first one is called Nakaya, the one I'm about to review. Second one is called Sharki. Sharki, I, my Arabic is not that refined. Not anymore in at least. And then we have, uh, I think, Harir. Okay, so uh, basically the three names, uh, they have different meanings, all right? Because Rasasi do... Uh, Rasasi does their uh, like lineup with particular name and you know they have certain meaning to each perfume and they always usually come with pair like males one females one and sometimes they have oils perfumes you know like sprayable and they have like unisex line as well so they have a lot of plenty of things going on at this moment Rasasi to me is my most favorite uh, one of their most favorite Arabian house alongside Arabian Oud, Armaf and perhaps few more right so let's look at those lines first of all so the nakaya means basically purity purity okay and this perfume it says purity of white veal okay i think it does the word veal that's something you cover your face with and something like a nice sort of a cover you know like a white sort of a pure uh, cover or veal something that's this is what that represents second one sharki means eastern you know like a Eastern take on musk and the third one is Harir. Harir means silk. So they have different sort of themes for the three. So other two are coming. I'll be reviewing those as well. And uh, I'll be also looking at the new Boruj lines, the Indonesia, Azra Indonesia, hopefully. And all these bottles you can actually find at Perfume Bangladesh. Masud Bhai has them in Bangladesh. So uh, yeah, hopefully I go and check out their line as well. So let's see now what you get when this particular one is going to be initial impression. Hopefully, uh, it's not gonna be like my full-on review. So if I make any mistakes or miss out something, do apologize, right? And Rasasi people, you have my salute because Rasasi quality, good Lord. I mean, I have reviewed, I think the most number of Rasasi perfumes on my channel and I'll be willing to do more because the quality, many designer niche, they cannot achieve with that price range, especially Rasasi is giving, unbelievable. Someday I would like to visit their factory or the outlet in Dubai. That would be a dream come true, right? So here you go. So here's the presentation almost is as good as it's not almost it is very as good as Tom Ford presentations. It's not your typical paper box. It's upper class and comes with this nice sort of a cardboard box. Very, very hard and it's protective to for, for the bottle. And here's the name mask and some in Arabic, some in uh, English. OK, so the mask, I think they wrote in Arabic and English as well. And then Senakaya, it's you can feel the writing. It's raised. And then if you see, turn it at the back, you'll see the name, like, sorry, where it's made. It says made in UAE, <clears throat> okay, Dubai. And bottom, it's going to be your um, production date. This is pretty new to me. I think this is the latest release. That's why people are not talking about it. It's 2018. My bottle is July 2018. So if you see the box, it's almost like this nice golden pattern and this rest is white. And you can see the golden inside. So you have to open it very carefully. And these are coming in EDP, 50 ml unisex perfumes, right? Inside, like that. So it's pretty secure. The bottle is pretty secure inside because there's a hole there for the bottle to, you know, be fixed. And if you see the presentation, it's pretty much, if you are into presentation, this is one of the nicer looking bottles. It's beautifully cut and it sits nicely in there. Okay, very snug fit. And it's like that. Beautiful presentation. I'll give 10 for the presentation. And the 50 ml bottle that looks like a little bit small almost reminds me of uh, crystal look at that look at the way that's cut it's just beautiful okay and there's a cap white cap and it has detailing up there i think it's called rasasi it says rasasi i think i could be wrong it is golden and white uh, combination cap is 
I think it's not fit. Bottom is your sticker. And it's beautiful. It's see-through white juice and it says uh, musk here. Beautiful presentation. I mean, it's just a pleasure just looking at the bottle. Golden atomizer with golden inside. Like that. And it doesn't click onto place, but it's pretty snug. Okay. So this fragrance, let's spray it. Show you the spray. Talk about it. And uh, let's see what you get. Spray is damn good in these. Okay. Let's just go one spray. So this fragrance is kind of on the pricier side. This is their more uh, premium fragrance. And of course, if you smell it, you know, you'll know like, okay, what is the quality? So basically the theme in this I so far got is they played with musk. And musk is such a note, it's extracted from animal, like a deer. So we call it in Bengali, we call it Mrigonavi, right? So those who know musk in Bengali, that's what it uh, means in Bengali. And musk is like deer musk or something. Some are animalic musk, some are like more polite, some are synthetic musk because musk is very expensive, just like ambergris. You know, like if you talk about frankincense, those are very expensive ingredients to be used in perfumery. So I don't know what kind of musk has been used, but the type of musk I can tell you is pretty high class. It's clean. It's like white. You know, it's like pure. That's what they mean, like purity of white veal. So it, you see the color? It's as clean. So think of cleanliness, you know. Think of something pure. Think of something clean. This is what I get from this fragrance. It's a very simplistic approach and it doesn't have so much complexity like uh, I would say Borouge line, like I talked about this one, like uh, Jazzy Biat, you know, like, uh, what is that? Uh, hold on, <laughs> I forget the name. So anyway, the Borouge line, I was talking about the Borouge line. So these are pretty complex, the tons of notes in this, you know. So Tabriz, sorry, that is called Tabriz. There's also Kasama, there's Junoon series, which I'm also getting the full line for men and women. I'll be talking about those if I am lucky enough. So those are pretty much your complex side of fragrances this is very high class and the notes in this i have obtained are at the top you're gonna get grapefruit bergamot then the mead you're gonna get magnolia violet heliotrope rose at the base you're gonna get ambroxan sandalwood vanilla white musk pretty interesting nose breakdown and if you smell it for the first time i get unfortunately in the opening like five to ten seconds i get a blast of alcohol which is not uh like the like I never, I, I hardly had that in Rasasi. I was like surprised because usually Rasasi is the opening. Usually it's like right away you don't smell any alcohol. You just get the top note. So after five to ten seconds you start getting that opening, and yes, it it has that sort of like a fresh opening, but it's not that zesty. So grapefruit and bergamot, not too much. It's not that citrusy. It's just clean musky opening. Okay, if you just think of musk, clean musky opening. So so far musk I have actually had a lot of musk based fragrances namely i would say body shops white musk for men i think that's one other one would be uh kiel's original musk that's pretty animalic and great also narcissa rodriguez for him her they all work with musk right so the thing is musk is a very uh challenging note for some people musk can get you headache like chanel's they use a lot of musk so the musk in this i think it's everything the center of the stage is musk it's amazing it's how clean this is how uh, you know simplistic but high class musk this is because usually like many other fragrances like uh, body shops white musk doesn't last for me hold on yeah sorry about the interruption like i was not feeling all that well so what i'm saying this fragrance first of all performance is very very good that's you that's something you expect from rasasi any rasasi you buy the let's say the very basic one like the very cheap one that one has great performance so this one is no different but the projection here is the what they did with this particular one i don't know about the rest other two in the line this one doesn't doesn't project out like shura or any other beast more like tobacco blaze or layukam or any of those loud ones this one it creates this nice sort of aura around you this is pretty much for men and women unisex you can get it and it has this nice sort of scent bubble around you pretty prominent it's not weak so think of like quality of Mason Francis Kirk Jones, right? So his quality perfumes are very high class. So when you sniff this on someone, you're not gonna call it like, hey, are you wearing like a body spray or like a, you know, like some of the cheaper brands, they also have the body spray, like white mask or something, you know? Like, no, this is not that, right? So when you sniff it, you know it's very high class. So I have given my mom Narcisa Rodriguez for her, this EDP, the white bottle. This one reminded me of that one, very high class. And there's nothing animalic about it. 
So as the time goes by, it always stays like classy, clean, upper class. And I would get like Magnolia. That is one what I do pick up. Violet, I did not pick up. Heliotrope, perhaps a little bit of it, but it's not too powdery. It's pretty much transparent like Prada Loam or, you know, Prada's fresh and clean soapy kind of scent. This is kind of soapy. And then the rose, I did not detect that much of rose in it, thankfully. <laughs> and the base, Ambroxan is an interesting one. That's why perhaps this lasts a long time. Sandalwood. I get a little bit because my nose is not that refined. I am not, you know, like I didn't study on fragrances, but to my nose, what I pick up, I'm telling you. Vanilla and white musk, those are your prominent nose uh, notes. So basically, touch of citrus up top, mostly magnolia, vanilla, heliotrope, uh, white musk, and perhaps ambroxan. That's what pretty much you get from this. So there's no peppery, like pink pepper or something that gives you a little spiciness that you get from Narciso or any other musk. So Pretty much, I would say your standard uh, high-class mask, which is clean. You can wear it with your jubao, you can wear it with your dress. You know, if you're going out parties at evening time, very elegant. So the concept of 50 ml, if you see the bottle, I mean, they did it, I think, just not to give you the idea that wear it sparingly, like spray like Shura and go out and have fun. This one, perhaps you reserve it for special occasion. So as time goes by, I'll update you on this, but I really, so far, I love it. It's very, it also reminds me, little bit of uh all you see the white uh, kind of uh, combination but this is high class uh, so yeah it's white fresh clean it, it almost like fresh laundry soapy kind of and the mask beautifully done and not just mask so it's not boring so check out nakaya from the mask collection i think it's really beautiful it's really beautiful posh scent it's not for everybody i think it's a little bit mature crowd would appreciate it who are a little bit posh you know, like working class or a little bit um, luxurious people, they would appreciate this fragrance. I think ladies would love carrying this in their purse, right? And men, you can wear it also if you like the note of musk and those notes that I mentioned. Beautiful fragrance, I'll give this easily. This is beautiful. This is class, right? I'll give this 9 out of 10. Just my frank opinion. Uh, perhaps, you know, like uh, other two, maybe I'll check them out. I'll let you know my opinion. Maybe I'll like them better than this or less. I don't know yet. But so far, Rasasi, amazing quality, amazing presentation. This is a 9 out of 10 for me. Beautiful presentation. Okay, Nakaya from the Musk Collection. Check it out. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Have a very nice day. And thank you, Rasasi, once again for being a wonderful house. Take care. Bye-bye.